Tankless water heaters. I love the limitless hot water. Never running out of hot is fantastic. I've installed them in clients' houses for years. In fact, I have one at my house, but there is a downside. And on today's video, we're gonna show you visibly what the downside of a tankless is. And we're gonna be specifically talking about scale that's happening. I'm at a friend's house, and I'm pretty sure that's what's happening here. He called me and said he's got a flow problem at his faucets and his showers. And let me show you what's going on here, look. You might think this is just a common uh, occurrence with some junk in the line and his shower is pretty low flow. But if we take an aerator off here, I can show you what it looks like. So let me grab my little plumbing tool kit here. We'll loosen this aerator on the faucet. And I think you're gonna be able to see what we're talking about from in here. Ha ha, look at that. There we go. So see this right here? This is scale that's been built up inside the copper boiler on that tankless unit, and it's clogging his system, and that's what the problem on the low flow is. Let's see if we can put some of that in my hand, and I'll show you what it looks like. There you go, this is it. This is calcium carbonate. This happens from the mineral deposits in the hard water that are depositing on the copper boiler as that really high intense heat, and that hard water goes through it. Now, if you have a water softener, you're not gonna to have to maintain your tankless nearly as much. In fact, almost never. But if you have city water like we are here, that unit is scaling up. It probably hasn't main, been maintained or flushed for a while. In fact, my friend said he can't remember. He thinks it's been about two years since he had it flushed. So that means it's probably scaled and it scaled up so much that it threw off this scale into the system. And now that's why he's got low flow problems is because that pressure, or pardon me, the uh, calcium carbonate is clogging things in the system. So there's two things we're gonna do here. Number one, we're gonna actually maintain and flush his system. I brought my little flush kit with me. I've made a bunch of videos. Look in the description for a link to videos on how to do this. You can buy an all-in-one parts kit and you can buy this flow aid or you could do it with just plain old vinegar, but I prefer the flow aid. This is, I think, a better descaler than just plain vinegar. Simple process. We're gonna hook this pump up to the tankless unit on the outside of the house. We're gonna turn the water off from the house and we're actually gonna run this solution through the copper boiler in a loop for about 30 to 45 minutes. That's gonna take all those mineral deposits out of the boiler, leave it in this bottom of this bucket right here so we can throw them away. And then step two, we're gonna come back right after we finish this. So let's go flush the unit and then I'll show you the second part of the half. So we flushed the tankless system. The flush unit ran for about 35, 40 minutes. All the scale that was inside of that boiler now has been removed, but we still have scale in this plumbing system. And in fact, most of it seems to be coming here to the master for some reason. So before you saw me take these out and clean those, we're actually gonna take these off and leave these aerators off for a minute. The problem comes to the master shower. This is where it gets a little tricky. This is a thermostatic valve right here. And my guess is there's a screen in here that's clogged and that's why the shower is, um, uh, is showing low because it's actually connected to two devices inside here. Now we can take this one off as well and double check the screen, but I won't actually wanna take the thermostatic out. I'm pretty sure we've got a screen in here. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so they're on the handles off. And now we're gonna pop this off. Okay, so that's off now. And that comes off. Put our parts here so we don't lose anything. Okay, that slips out. All right, next is gonna be this guy right here. Okay, oh, look at that. Not much insulation back there. The tape's doing. Okay, so the water is off now. If this was under pressure, this would be real bad. <laughs> so we want to make sure the water is indeed off. <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I can feel it on there. There was uh, there was scale on this screen. See this little screen right here? That's where the scale was building up. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually blow this faucet out uh, a couple times. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other ones as well. So let's put this valve right over here for now. And I'm gonna actually open up, it's better if it's a two-man operation, but can't today. So we're gonna open up the hot side on this faucet and the hot side on this faucet. Remember the aerators are off right now, so I've got the aerator sitting here. So I've got open faucet on hot, open faucet on hot, and that thermostatic valve, we're just draining down the system, but basically hot and cold is gonna come out of there. Now I'm gonna shut the shower door and I'm gonna put a towel down over here because it might, I can see some gapage here. I can see this floor getting wet uh, coming through. But I'm gonna go in the other room and I'm gonna turn on the hot and cold and I'm gonna have you train the camera right there at that valve. And you're gonna see a massive amount of water blow out of there. And basically what we're gonna do is, this is, this is kind of like opening the valve on your plumbing system. We're gonna blow this out and we're gonna do it several times with an on off action. First, I'm gonna run it for about 30 seconds or so, and then I'm gonna do a series of five second bursts, try and move any of that scale that's in the plumbing system out. It's possible we might have to come back here in a week and redo this, but I'm hoping that we'll get as much of that scale out of the system as possible. So have fun, I'll, I'll turn the hot and cold off. That's it, that's all there is to it. The system should be mostly flush now, but it's not 100%. Very likely, I'm gonna have to come back here in a week and help them out again and take that apart and take these apart if there's more scale uh, still in the line. Now, the unit itself should be totally good. We spent a long time descaling it, but it's possible there might be some scale, that calcium carbonate flakes in the system. Funny enough, I didn't realize when I popped that thermostatic valve out, look at that, that's all scale that came on my black uh, sure, you can see there. So really the point of this video, twofold. Number one, I like tankless, don't get me wrong. I'm not a hater on tankless. I've installed a lot of them, I like them, but you need to maintain them. If you're in a household with a lot of people, you need to maintain them more regularly. If you have soft water or you only have one or two people in the house, you'll maintain them less regularly. But big household, every 12 months, smaller household every 24 months. If you have a softener system, or you're, let's say you're on rainwater or something like that that has low mineral content, you could probably go more like five years, but you do need to maintain your tankless. Amazing units, but maintenance is important. Guys, thanks for joining me. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Look in the description below for a link for any of the tools I use today, including that flush kit. And I also have a link in the description for a couple of the flush videos that I've made in the past. Really simple process, nothing to it. You can do it yourself for about a hundred bucks or you can pay a plumber once a year to come do it for about 125, maybe $175. However, if your system scales up like I just showed you there and had to flush it, it's gonna cost a lot more. I would expect a plumber between the flush and everything we did here, uh, this would be probably a $250 bill, something like that. So my friend owes me a nice dinner out. All right guys, we'll see you next time.